So which businesses need a blog? That's going to be the constant question you're going to get. In my opinion, is any business. Actually, every business needs a blog. Now, listen to me about how the blog is important to a business. It's basically a the center hub of your communication system because you can tie it out to your social media um, and you can do all sorts of stuff with the blog and it's at being hosted at your domain. So maybe it's businessname.com forward slash blog. So it's going to bring traffic to your domain, which is ultimately where you want them to go to buy most things. <clears throat> if you're an affiliate marketer, it's a different story. But most businesses want to bring people to, to their domain. And even if you're an affiliate marketer, guess what? Bring them to your domain and get them to join a list and sell them in your list, which is actually... Uh, one of the strategies that I use. So I guess my point is every business should have a blog. And it is not just a blog that's important. And this is the reason why is you got to think of marketing as a picture, a painting. And you got to look at the blog as a big piece of that puzzle right in the middle. If you paint all around and you leave that little spot out, you're not going to quite understand what that picture is about. It kind of fits in the middle and all the other pieces kind of hang on to it to make a cohesive picture. So then you're going to add in your social media, you're going to add in your, all these other things. But your blog is your center so that you're pulling people to your domain, which is ultimately what businesses want to do. Now, it doesn't matter what business you're in either. The idea is to create a more human connection between your company and your prospects, your clients, potential clients, existing clients, suppliers, all those people. I was interviewed by Dan Kennedy back, uh, well, it was 10 years ago now. He said, where do you think all this technology is going to take marketing? I said, funny enough, it's going to get less, people are going to get further apart and there's going to be less human connection with marketing and then it's going to come back and become more human and because now technology allows me to deal with people via video conferencing with Skype or Zoom or uh, FaceTime. I spend as much time on the phone now in 2019 as I used to back in the 90s when we didn't have a whole lot of internet. We have a little email but not you know not like we do today definitely not like we did today. And what blogging does is it, it's just that piece that helps pull the human side of your business together. So when I'm dealing with my programmer in India, I get him on Skype twice a week and we talk face to face. Couldn't do that 15 years ago. Was doing it kind of five years ago. We do it every you know every week now. Skype is pretty uh, pretty uh, omnipresent and. Uh, FaceTime is, you know, within 10 years, too. FaceTime is being used. Uh, it came out, iPhone came out at, uh, I, I do interviews of employees that we hired via FaceTime, and it, it works. It's a, it's a very legitimate way to, to have a meeting with people. Um, back in the 2000s, I was a CFO for a large company out of Stuttgart, Germany, but we were based, our part of the company, I was a CFO for was in uh, San Diego, California, which is why I live in San Diego. And we did daily calls with the manufacturing plant, which was in Hungary, and then some of the people in Germany called in, and it was on a big fancy phone. And uh, we sat around and we had these big spreadsheets of paper. We, we did our planning every morning for about an hour, <clears throat> production planning, scheduling, stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't even begin to do it that way today because we'd be able to do it via video conferencing with video whiteboards and a common uh, the shareable spreadsheet, stuff like that. It'd be so much more efficient than it used to be. So in a way, technology took the world and said, okay, I can do business with people 5,000 miles away. <clears throat> I don't even have to look at them. Well, that means I don't even have to look at the guy that's across the street now. It kind of whiplash and it's getting back to being more uh, more integrated, more human, okay? And the blog is your primary source for doing that. And the way to do that 
is by creating videos like I'm doing now, posting them on YouTube, and driving traffic to your blog. And these videos could be whatever your niche is. If you uh, manufacture glasses, you may show them how you know your machinery works. If you are uh, manufacturing uh, uh, iPhones, it could be you know what's the new telephone thing. If you're uh, offering new accounting services, it could be new uh, financial accounting standing standard boards announcements. Um, it could be just company policies that have changed. Um, I ran a very large company for many many years, and it was you know we had company policies for our clients, and we'd have to write and send a letter. You know, our terms are now five percent ten net 30 or 5% 30 net 60 I think is what it was so that had to be communicated through kind of a slow and outdated method nowadays um, I would just make an announcement on our blog I'd have it syndicate that out to the social media sites because well there's too many social media sites so you can't just focus on one but the good news is um, the blog can take care of that syndication for us so we're going to go through what we call the total integrated marketing approach in in the next uh, video or two and I'm going to show you how we kind of connect all these things together and we make the blog the center hub a communication for clients so if you're a marketer like I am and you're branding yourself as a marketer I talk about marketing stuff if you're a finance company and you're talking about taxes you might want to release videos every other week about tax changes stuff that you want to get out to people just information sharing and branding and it attracts people to your uh, website and uh, your videos and your logos on them, your face, your picture, your talking. You become the expert and it brands you to your niche. And the branding makes it more personal because people really do want to buy from who they know, like, and trust, right? Okay. Do you buy, rather buy from some slick kid on a hot rod airplane? that's flying around showing off how great he is. It's amazing how, he, how many people fall for that. You know, I got that airplane by ripping people off, not by helping people out. Or would you rather buy from someone who's going to look you in the eye and say, hey, you know, this is, this is a good thing to do, this is not a good thing to do. I'm not about get rich biz marketing. I'm about making money online for businesses. And the total integrated marketing approach works because it's real and it's findable, discoverable, and it plays the game the way all the services that you got to rely on wants to play the game. Whether it's YouTube or Google or any of the other social media sites, you're not gaming nothing. You're not finding loopholes nothing. You're not getting rich quick. You're building a brand and a name, one brick at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Steady, steady, steady. So blog is important. We're going to teach you how to build a blog. And we're going to show you how to integrate that with your social media. So stay tuned to these videos. They're coming up in the next little bit. Thank you.